everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've just started this YouTube channel and I'm totally new to it so don't expect any video to be good. No just kidding it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine everything's fine. And for any of you that don't follow my Instagram it's at bronte.episode um, and I just put like all my updates on there and you can have like a little peek into my real life as well. Oh my goodness, there's so many questions. So, on Instagram yesterday, I asked all of you to ask me questions and I would answer them in this. Um, okay, a message from LexiL.episode. How excited are you for the Chicago meetup? So excited. I am so happy that so many people are doing awesome meetup things now because I can go to them without having to organize them, which I am super, super pumped for especially the chicago one because i've already met lexi in real life and um, we met up when i was in michigan i want to say this year i'm gonna say yes this year at the start oh yeah it was in february so i met her in february and she's awesome and her mum's awesome and i know the chicago meetup's just gonna be the bomb so i'm super excited eva allison episode asked what keeps you motivated I don't know <laughs> I honestly don't know like I struggle so much sometimes like most of the time I just love writing so you don't really have to have motivation to do something you love it's like eating chocolate it's like where do you find the motivation to eat chocolate mm. <laughs> it's just in my bones so question do you like ink or limelight better and this is by Anna Maria it's difficult to say because I like both ink and limelight quite a lot um, I also like classic. For those of you that don't know, these are the different animation styles on episode that you can write in. Um, I'd probably say Limelight's number one because it's the newest, it changes the most, it has the most updates and like it's the most realistic. Oh my goodness, look how cool my nails are at the moment. How many stories do you plan on writing? Asked by Athena.episodes. Um, a million. A million billion trillion. I'm literally never ever ever gonna stop writing. I want to do it forever and ever and ever because it's the best thing in the whole world. How did you find out about episode? Well I actually found out about episode because my little sister played it and she was like oh Bronte you've got to start playing episode like it's so entertaining and so good and I was like I'll give it a go. How is it to code and stuff? Asked by king.ra underscore. Coding is so difficult. So the directing, the dialogue part is really simple. It's just like writing dialogue, very, very simple. But the actual coding and the directing part, which is like moving one character from one place to another or adding the backgrounds can be so complicated depending on how much you, like how complex you're going. Ella underscore the Larkin asked, what's your favorite animal? I have a way to answer that question. Hang on. Well, that was long and uneventful. No cats. Couldn't, couldn't find one. So cats is the answer, but my cats hate me. I may be their favourite animal, but they fucking hate me. No, just kidding. They love me. Um, so my favourite animals are cats and then horses. But I love all animals. I love to stroke them. xx.coffeebeans.xx said... From where do you get your writing ideas? Like, wow, I want to get a few of your brain cells. I love you. You're amazing. Thank you. Um, but I only have a few brain cells, so please don't take them because then I'll have none left. I literally get my ideas from everywhere. Like, I watch loads and loads of documentaries. So sometimes I get ideas from documentaries, you know, like real life people. Um, I like to people watch. So, like, sometimes I'll be sat in a coffee shop and I'll see someone walk by and then I can plan a whole story around them um tvs books literally everything like indulge yourself in the art anything creative you can take inspiration from so literally artwork movies tv shows books other stuff like that epi underscore daisy asks how many lines should we write for each chapter so this varies and I'm constantly criticised that my chapters are too short which I guess is like a good thing in a way, silver linings and all because it means people want to read more um, so 
I mean, I write about 2,000 to 2,000 lines per chapter, um, and that works out about seven minutes playing time. But I have customization in it as well. Um, so you can change your hair and you can change your clothes in every chapter, and that's a lot of coding. So that itself is probably like, 800 to a thousand lines so like a thousand to fifteen hundred lines of dialogue and then the rest directing customization etc and real stories i don't know someone on instagram has said did you like writing stories when you were little i loved writing stories when i was little like so much um i actually wrote a story with my little sister so my sister is four years younger than me so um, I'm 24 now, she's 20, um, but when we were kids, so I was probably like six and she was like two, she drew all the pictures for this book and I wrote all the words and it was about like a man and a woman falling in love and adopting 15 cats. Always been cat obsessed and always been writing obsessed, it's just my life. Ha! Okay, this is a good question. Were you a queen bee when you were in high school? Absolutely not. No way. It was definitely not Queen Bee. Like, I wasn't a total loser, but like, I definitely wasn't the coolest person in the world. It's a bit like now. I think I'm cool, but I'm not sure what everybody else does. But, like, in my little world of this chair and this computer and this laptop, I am the Queen Bee. I'm the Queen Bee of my world. But not in high school, no. But like I didn't have a super rough time anyway, like either, like I wasn't bullied and um, like I had friends and I had a good time. Like I didn't like the teachers and I didn't like going to school, but like the people were bad. I wish I was Hencher. <laughs> Sensational Stargirl asked me to describe Katrine and Lucas. This is actually a really interesting question. So, um, Katrine, Lucas and I organised the first ever episode meet up together in London and it was super fun. Um, we went to San Francisco together. Well, we all met in Manchester. So, Lucas is from France, Katrine's from Belgium and then I've met Katrine a few times. I've been to Belgium and she's come to England to hang out but I've never met Lucas before. Just spoken to him online. Yeah, anyway, so we all met up in Manchester and it was super awesome and then we went to San Francisco together and then obviously we've seen each other again. If you look on my Instagram, you will see. Um, but Lucas is like really funny, really bitchy, but like in a good way, like not like bad bitchy, like entertaining bitchy. Like he's quite... <laughs> And Katrine is literally like the sweetest person in the world, like she can't do enough for anybody, like she's just your like go-to girl for anything you need because she's just really nice, always wants to help, really sweet. Ah, this is a good question, so this is by episode.madeline. Is Blake inspired by any jerk faces you've sadly encountered? <laughs> At first he wasn't, you know, at first, like, in the first Dear Diary, uh, the first story that I wrote, their name was inspired by somebody, but the character wasn't. But then when I was writing Golden Girl, I'd got to know this character in real life a little better. I wasn't dating or anything. Um, but yeah, I got to know him a little bit better, and then it gave me some inspiration to, like, work up the character and make the character a bit more of a massive dickhead. Seems to have worked well, so thank you for the real life inspiration. You know who you are. After Golden Girl, are you planning to write a different type of genre? Also, love all your stories, episode.sophie29. Yes, I would love to write a story in every genre on episode. I love comedy, I love romance and I love drama like writing them and I find them the easiest to write but I really want to branch out and try different things because I think until you've tried all the genres how do you know which genre yours is? X Chickaboo asked how long have you been writing for? What day is it? <laughs> yeah I've been writing for two weeks now no just kidding um I started it's August the 17th and I started writing around July the 1st I think 2017 it's 2018 so just over a year and it's been such a whirlwind of a year what a crazy year but an awesome year
live love life underscore 10 asked what my favorite food is literally anything that's not good for me like i love sweets like i have sweets everywhere near me all the time like i would be so thin if i didn't eat sweets like literally closest sweets right here these are the bomb like i like they're not anywhere but like corner shops near schools <laughs> and they in england and they are so 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 good Caitlin Fink asked, if I wasn't an episode author, what would I do? Sleep a lot. I would go into academics probably, so I would like to teach at a university, uh, like English or philosophy or theology or something nerdy like that. Who is my favourite episode author other than me? Asked Daniela Lol 179. Sandra probably, definitely. Sandra G stories, like she's amazing like i wish i could have her talent she was like the first right reader no writer i was obsessed with as a reader um she's just so good and has great inspiration and uh, she comes up with the best ideas and she's really cool um and she's written so many good stories like the transformation was amazing moving in phenomenal tied to you i've loved tied to you fake love bad blood like she's literally written so many good stories like every story she writes is so good and it drives me insane <laughs> because why why is she so good i love you though love you sandra love lon lon asked how does it feel to have a big supporter base by the way i love you it's kind of weird but like it doesn't affect my day-to-day -day life most of the time because most people in real life don't recognize me so like the only time people have recognized me in real life is um like a couple times at work like when i used to work at a restaurant people have known who i am at the episode meet up obviously a lot of people came up to me like oh my god hi i'm gonna take a picture with you and all that stuff literally that was fucking amazing like that was so cool like it's so cool having someone come up to you and be like oh my goodness it's so cool to me and i literally have the same feeling inside because it's so awesome to meet someone that like has read your work and loves your work um so that's cool um how old are you okay i'm just gonna answer this question the rest of the questions really 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 quickly how old are you 24 which story are you most proud of Becoming Queen Bee and I'm like, because I finished it the quickest, like wrote it the quickest, and it's the most popular, and it was really fun to write. Do you have any other jobs beside writing on episode? Nope, episode is my full time ting. Why did you want to start your own YouTube channel? So um, recently I've just felt like a bit of lack of inspiration a bit of lack of excitement in my world so I wanted to do something new and exciting and um my boyfriend is really into YouTube and he said he'd edit the videos for me which is one of the main things that stopped me from doing it in the first place because like I've got like a good creative mind but I'm good at writing nothing else like <laughs> anything else Ugh, it would take me so long to edit this video that I'd probably kill myself Okay, that's it. I'm done now. I'm over it. I'm through. I'm done with this video. Okay, I am done now. I don't know how to sign out of, like, you know how, like, people sign out. I don't want to be like, comment, like, subscribe, share. But do all those things. Please. 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 Oh my god, look at those bingo wings when I wave. Okay, bye!